Time now for all things Gators, all things orange and blue. Dan Hicken and Frank Frangie, and I'm in studio. Yeah, this nice to see news, you. Big news here. That's great. Do. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist brings us this podcast. We thank them, se-ortho.com, for all your orthopedic needs. Good to see you. Everything good? Yes, everything's yeah. good. I uh, The COVID is gone. Good. Although I'm still nasally. Yeah. The COVID stays with you for a while. Though, Some do. So you just never know. Yeah, That's the know. craziest thing. Sometimes it, aff- it affects different people in different yeah. ways. It's just, it's very odd. Yeah, you, you didn't get nasally. You had no. the throaty the stuff, but I, yeah. I I get the nasal. Yeah. So um, it, it, which is unusual with my cute little pug nose. Yeah, that I would get That's this. Go, surprising. Go, go figure. Yeah. Um, hey, a lot of Gator stuff to get to. Yeah, um, man. Uh, we'll get to recruiting in a minute. Let's start with the hoops team. Four wins in a row. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Myron Jones. Yeah. For about the first most of the season. Right. I thought, how in the world right. did this guy right. make? All these threes at Penn State. I mean, he wasn't even close. No. He was through. They weren't air balls. They were banging off oh, the yeah. rim and coming Terrible back. Terrible shots. Right. And now all of a sudden, he's Lee Humphrey. Yeah. The, the, what in the world? It's, it's glorious. Well. And it's turned the team around. I don't, you know, don't know how much there is to it, but we learned last night that he's had a broken finger. On his offhand, right. And, and, and Mike White finally said that. It's got to affect him. It, got to. it had to affect him. But, yeah. But now he can't miss. Well, that's great. I mean, he's Michael Frazier. This is well, what he reminds me of right he now. He had seven threes last night. And if you can get him going, uh, they're a markedly better basketball oh, team. Oh, no. It was I mean, Castleton back. Yeah. And, and, Who, by the way, got nicked up again. Yeah. I guess his shoulder's popping in and out. I don't or know why I panicked when I saw yeah. that. Yeah. But, but back to Jones for a second. Do you remember the Michael Frazier 11 threes yes, in South, South Carolina? Carolina? Yeah. I mean, that was that was, that was awesome. Ultimate. Eleven, yeah, he made eleven threes in a yeah. game against South Carolina. He sure did. And I'm thinking that's what it looked like last Ooh, night. I like that. When, when I mean, I'm not saying he's as good as Michael Frazier was, no. but I'm saying he was swishing. Yeah, if you, Michael Frazier made eleven threes against South Carolina. I'm not sure it hit the rim. Right. Remember that yeah. that night. And, I, and he's it, averaging now like 14, 15 points a game over his last three, four games. So he's a it's a breath of fresh yeah. air for for Florida basketball and a team that you know has struggled offensively right. so much this year and the two thing the one thing that he and Kawasi Reeves give you mm-hmm. and he really gives it to you he's looking to shoot it oh yeah he's catching shoot yeah. if he's got even a peak yeah he's letting it fly yeah. see as good a shooter as Appleby is i still sense he doesn't know what's a good shot yeah he'll catch it behind the arc yeah 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 you look like he's got a good shot then he'll step in step back he'll try and get a better shot and it winds up being a worse shot same thing with with Fleming those guys aren't quite sure if they should be shooting mm-hmm. that three, mm-hmm. Reeves and particularly Jones, they're catching it. I mean, if if Myron Jones gets a peak, yeah, he's letting it fall. Well, a perfect example was last night in the first half. He inbound the ball. He came around the guy, right, r- ran through it, and immediately got it. He didn't have much. He let it fly right. and swished it. So, great stuff uh, for Florida. Who, you know, six and five. We said must win Missouri, right? Yeah. Must wins, all must wins. They had, must they had, win last night. They had to win to, to to have a chance to get to the tournament. Yeah, they had to win those four games. Because they, I said this on the to. radio show uh, uh, today, and the, today, if you're watching this, uh, is Thursday. Yeah. yeah, they ain't winning Saturday. No, they're not winning Saturday. That's the, of the. I don't think they're winning their next three. Yeah, at Kentucky, at A and M, and home against Auburn. Yeah, but the only one that I'm convinced they can't win is Saturday. They're right. not winning in Rome. Right. This might be the best Kentucky team. Remember when they started the year 0-3? Yeah. I was hoping they'd find a win. Yeah. I'm more confident that they'll find one win in those three. And if they do, then if they do. They're in great shape. That's right. If you, because if, if, if this is what they, now having said that. Yeah. George is not very good, and they still can't pull away. Florida they does not. Can't every game is anybody. every game is a battle. Yeah, every Florida one. ain't blowing anybody out. Georgia's yeah. horrible. Right, and still can't pull they, away. They're up sixteen in the first half. Right, but I you, had to go. I had to run out to a high school basketball game. It's thirty three seventeen. I'm going. We're good. Yeah, but you know, I didn't think that. We're I, not good. No, we're not because there's always that. And and one thing about Mike White thing. teams, it seems like every year there's a shooting lull during every game. Yeah, but but th- in, this, <laughs> in this team for sure. Because there's no shooters. Yeah. Now, if Myron Jones becomes one, yeah. now that changes that, everything. That would help. If he can become a really a legitimate shooter. But nine is the magic number, don't you think? I think nine and nine in the league, and they're in. Yeah. The, the one thing they're Mark, in fifth place in the league. Yeah. Mark Wise said last night if uh. you're in the top seven in the league, you're in. Okay. I think it, I think if that means eight and 10, I'm not sure. Yeah. Every, Lenardi, who's always dead on, yeah. still has them barely in. And here's what I, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I've always said to me, when you play that many games, right, and you can't be five hundred in your conference, you, you don't deserve that. to be in there. Yeah, and that's uh, just my opinion. But 
you know, they, they obviously they've taken teams who have come under 500, but I think Florida has to get to nine and nine. And I'm not, I'm still not sure they will. I'm not either. I, I, I think because you, because you're right at night. Vandy. Have right. you watched Vandy play at home? Right. They beat mm-hmm. LSU there. Right, couple, right. You know, if you watch them of late, mm-hmm. you're right. They're six and five, and there's no margin of error. Again. None. And so here's what they got: two against Kentucky, mm-hmm. one against Auburn, yeah. one against the team that just beat Auburn. In Arkansas. Arkansas has won nine in a row. Right. So so yeah. that one's hard now. Yeah. 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 So so but they got to get one of those. I think to that, get to nine. Yeah. They can, they, to get to nine. Yeah. They can beat Georgia again. Yeah. They can win at Vandy. Yeah. They still got to get and two. And A&M. More. They still got to get two more. They're yeah. at A&M. Yeah. They got to find two. Somewhere. Yeah. There's another one I'm missing. That's, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that, that I think I feel confident. Well, they're, what are they? They're six and five. That's right. They need three so more. They need three more. That's, that's three mm-hmm. more. So, mm-hmm. so three more. But, but they've got to find, the, where, where are the three? At Georgia, you hope. At Vandy, and you hope. None those of those are automatic. I know. Those are the ones you have to win. I know. Because we don't think that. I don't think that. They don't match up well with Kentucky. No. Kentucky not, is they're, really long. Yeah. So at Georgia, mm-hmm. at Vandy. Yeah. And can, at a, and can you find one more? Arkansas, Auburn, or A&M. You got to get right. one of those. Arkansas, Auburn, or Homer at A&M. So, but, uh, but hey. But, you but, know, but, but I will tell you this. They're going to lose one of those that we think they're going to win. Right. So you got to win two then. So then you got to, yeah, it's it's but not they, done. They need three more wins. So we'll but see. But good for them to come back 16 yeah. and 8 and 6 and 5 with this group. Hey, I know, yeah. I know, I'm not going to get do it, but shout out, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least, at least now that because they've won four in a row, yeah. the Mike White haters are quieter. Oh, no, they're waiting. They're, they're, they're ready. waiting. Yeah. They're waiting. But, but, but I, but anyway, so. And, and by the way, I'm not saying Mike White is the next coming of Coach K. Right. All I'm saying, at least for now, they do show some fight. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of like this team. How many did they have? They shot better. How many did they have at Arkansas the other night? What's that seat? Bud Walton Arena. Twenty thousand. Twenty. Yeah. They probably had twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but but that's a home could game. Could Florida ever put twenty-two thousand? Well, in a, in a, for a basketball I game trying, in Gainesville. I was, I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. I, I was bored on Sunday night, Dan. Yes. Yeah, home. you went back and watched the game. I went back and watched <laughs> Florida, BC, one of my favorite wins of all time. That was in Miami, wasn't it? Yeah, when I was at the game. You probably were, right? Yeah, No. I was at the I game. I remember being in the – you know, it's so funny. That was the year that – you know, because Florida surprised to get to the right. Final Four. So we had to scramble as a television station. back. You had to follow them every step of the way. Right. We didn't. So we had to scramble to get to the Final Four. We went, and Lon Kruger, God bless him. Best guy ever. Brought the team, because all the, a lot of the TV stations didn't. Right. Brought the team outside, because we couldn't get credentialed for, like, press conference. Right. Brought the team outside and did interviews with us. Yeah, how about That's that? That's how good of a guy he is. He's a great. Well, and, yeah. I, and, and I'll, I'll, let me give you another story. Same yeah. year. Yeah. I, I had been a newspaper guy uh-huh. and then had a newspaper and radio. So I'd only been in full-time radio for a year. Mm-hmm. We go to Miami mm-hmm. and we stay at the Sheridan Biscayne Bay where the team's staying. Okay. For that, for that trip to Miami. Okay. okay. And we're doing shows Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday morning. Cool. Okay. Doing radio shows. Yeah. So and, and I'd gotten to know Lon well because I'd been a beat reporter. So right. we'd gotten to be pretty good buddies. We'd right. gone to lunch a few times, but he knew I just started radio. Mm-hmm. They're 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 they beat UConn right in the in the game the Daniel Marshall missed the free throw right. game right. So they're now one game and that was a Friday game right. So they're they're now one game for the Final Four. Okay, I the, all the Gator fans are staying at this Sheridan too. Right, so right. it's packed sure. with Gator fans. So sure. a lot of the Jacksonville fans came because we had his little speaker set mm-hmm. up. So we're doing shows 10 to noon Saturday morning. Okay. In between the two games. Okay. Lon, I, I, I see Lon. I said, Lon, can you, come, can you come by? I'll call you in your room. He goes, I'll come down. Lon, hang on. It gets better. <laughs> Lon comes down. We do 12-minute segments. Lon comes down. All the Gator fans are cheering right in the lobby of the hotel. That's awesome. All the Gator fans are cheering. Yeah. Cheering. And Lon, hey, so we, what about the game? He said, yeah, I never thought Don Yeld missed those free throws. Our guys played tough, blah, 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 uh-huh. blah, blah, blah. End of the 12 minutes. Yeah. Lon, this is fantastic. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you kind of coming down. He goes, want me to say some more? Wow. He's one game away from playing for the, for the, getting to the final four. That? He goes, you yeah. want me to say some more? Place goes crazy. Now the fans all cheer. Today's another segment. That's awesome. It, 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 it's, it's a great. That's so good. Yeah. It's so, he was uh, a great guy. Uh, Lon, but anyway, I'll watch back, watch back. So let's wrap up some basketball thoughts with uh-huh. this. I don't think they can win Saturday at Rupp. Mm-hmm. That's the only one, though. That I don't think they can win. They have no, yeah, no shot. Yeah. At winning. yeah, even Kentucky at home, they could win. Yeah, Arkansas at home, Auburn at home, I think they can get one of those. Yeah, they could win at A and M. Yeah, so the only one A and M struggling, though. right? I mean, but right. again, Florida doesn't blow anybody out. Yeah. That's the you know. only one I don't think they can win. Uh-huh. 
is this Saturday. But they're playing better, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been good. I'm happy for them, and I'm happy for the guys. And, I mean, that's what you play for. You want to play into March. So uh, keep going, Florida. Keep Um, going. uh, Arliss Boardingham. You're the recruiting. You're you're the recruiting. Yeah, I thought he was going to sign on signing day with right, Florida. Yeah, and I was surprised he did. And it was like Florida, or he's a California kid. Right. He's a big kid, six four two twenty. Yeah, could grow. You yeah, know that. Yeah. So, um, I was surprised on signing day, and I sort of forgot about him. And then I saw him post. I'm announcing my. Uh, so I don't know the backstory as to why he waited. Right. But it was Oregon or Florida. Yeah. And it's a great kid for Billy Napier. And again, Billy Napier, you know, the the. The uh, people who are not Florida fans reminded me a lot on signing day. Right. Their, their, their narrative was Florida only signed one kid from the Sunshine State. So what are you talking about? Well, on signing day, they right. did. Well, Billy Napier addressed that. He's, he is so in tune with this stuff, bro. Right. And I love, again, I don't know if the plan is going to work. And I'm going to make fun of the plan as it goes because he's got an eight-phase year-round calendar. Right. And they just started identity or something, phase two. It's um, you know, and yeah. then spring balls. And, phase and he's going to meet with the media on Friday yeah. to talk about what it means. Yeah, I mean, so I love, but but I love the fact that this thing is all laid out. Right, he knew exactly who he wanted to hire with his, not just assistant coaches, but staff. Yeah, uh, it's 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 fascinating to watch him try to implement what the best of the best is doing in college football. I, and I'm, I totally agree with that. I'll uh-huh. get that in a second. One thought about Arliss Boardingham. Yes, please. Um. He's either a three-star or four-star based on what you look at. Yeah, ESPN four and the other yeah. one's three. Yeah, I was convinced he was going to Oregon. Okay. Which told me he's a he's a three-star tweener that doesn't really have a position. Right. Now that he's going to Florida. I think he's a four-star and I think he's Cal Pitts. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. I've, I've now decided. Well done. I've now decided he's the next Cal okay. Pitts. Okay. So very just good. so you know, that's what I got. That's a way um, to shift the um, recruit <laughs> narrative. Yeah, I like that's that. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. very good. Um, of course let, we let, do. Let, I, I will tell you this about Billy Napier. You know why he didn't sign many guys from Florida, like he said? Uh-huh. He's a relationship yeah, guy. Yeah, he wants to get to when know guys. When he went to Nick Evers and yeah. Isaiah Bond, two yeah. big-time recruits, yeah. in this in this era of pitching and catching, right. a pitcher and a catcher mm-hmm. that were really good. Mm-hmm. One wound up at Oklahoma, one wound up at Alabama. Mm-hmm. They're obviously really good players. Mm-hmm. They were both coming to Florida. My first thought was, Billy, we got to keep those two. Right. But his take was, I don't want anyone to come in here that doesn't know me. Right. We don't have relationships. Let's get to know each other. Right. And then if we still believe in each right. other, then we it's. I love that. And, and the and, kid, so, a lot of kids wouldn't be interested in that, and obviously they weren't. Now, and, and by the way, to that end, yeah. if you've been in Louisiana in the last five years, yeah. you're not going to have great relationships with the people in Florida yet. Correct. So you shouldn't sign all if, no. if, if that really is your mantra, yeah. if that really is who it you are. It seems like it. And it, it does. Then you shouldn't be signing a lot of guys Again, he had a public speaking engagement this week. And I think people are just so impressed with Billy Napier, the man. Who he is. And I think I so. I think that... You know, Georgia kid raised his daddy was a football coach. Right. I mean, there's just he, the guy's a football guy, and 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 yet there's so much more to it. He's one of those guys. Like, if he was coaching high school, Frank, he would understand that. Yeah, we want to win, but we're also developing young yeah. men. We're going to teach them the right yeah. things to do, the right ways to do. And it. I think that's who he. Having said that, there's there's still some holes. Sure, uh, the recruiting class. I think they only signed one true receiver. They got yeah. tight. End, got a bunch yeah. of tight ends. Yeah, but of Caleb Douglas, I think mm-hmm. he's the only receiver they signed. So I saw a great uh, thing in a in a in a column it was it's a read and react column that if you really want to dive into the numbers and stuff it's a must read but anyway i saw this and and they chronicled the last 12 years of offensive line recruiting right. florida and vandy the only two schools in the sec to not have a first team all sec ap all sec performer in the last 12 years i saw that that's pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? In 12 years. That'll tell you something not about one guy in 12 Yeah, that'll years. lead to eight and four. Yeah, it will. Real yeah, quick. Will. Yeah, it will. And, you know, like the, you and fight they have it. not done – I mean, they, they've been up and down with their offensive linemen. Right. And so are they not recruiting good ones? Are they not developing them? Yes and yes. And, and, and now, they, they have some great. guys in the NFL. Right. But – a bunch honest, of guys in the NFL. Yeah, that one group of Max Garcia. Yeah. And and and, and DJ I mean, Humphreys in the Humphreys, NFL. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, Bra- um, Johnson, Trent Brown. Yeah. yeah, Trent Brown. There was a stretch of guys there. Yeah, that, but none of them were great at Florida. No, and that that's the thing. No, yeah. So so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. So mm-hmm. uh, I think Stone Forsythe's gonna be a good pro, but he was just okay at Florida. Yeah, you know. So so it'll, it'll be interesting to see. But but I like what I'm like you. I like where they are. Yeah. I like the fact that I I get this feeling mm-hmm. that uh, they're gonna recruit a lot of good players. The big question. And by the way, I, I'm excited. I want to hear what he's got to say on Friday. Again, we're taping this on yeah. Thursday. Why is he having a press conference? I love that he's having a press conference. Yeah. But I don't know why. This yeah. is I mean, is he what's he gonna is he I guess he's gonna put the final 
bow on the signing class. Yeah. Now that now talk that, a little now phase that, two, talk about spring ball. What's coming up? Maybe. I mean, yeah. We normally there's a pre-spring ball. Yeah. That's uh, usually right presser. before. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, what do you think he's going to talk about? The the that that and that the identity and the, yeah. all that, right? Yeah, I assume so. So it'll be great. And if you have any questions about some of his coaches, yeah, his staff, right. how does this work? It's now all in place. Yeah, I, I guess now that everything's in place, yeah. the staff, the seven thousand extra employees, yeah. uh, the, the 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 recruiting class is put to bed. That's fascinating stuff. It really is. And I love that he's meeting and talking about it. Yeah, I think he's yeah. a very open guy. There's a, I can't wait for I can't wait for the spring game. Yeah, I'm all I know. Jacked, I'm That'll all be fun. Up for the spring game. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So what about before we go and get out of here? Uh, Kim Mulkey is a, a women's college basketball legend. A legend, well, right? Well, in both places, she jumped ship from Baylor to LSU, yeah. which she's from Louisiana. And her son played baseball there. Yes, he did. Yeah, we beat him in the. Uh, yeah, and, and they, did, they, we they, win that. That was the we did beat Natty, him. right? We 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 beat him, and they yeah. reminded us on ESPN that uh, her yeah. his mom was Kim Mulkey. 7,464 That is times. correct. That's how I know that. Please that continue. is correct. And so um, she endorsed your girl. Kelly Ray Finley. Kelly Ray Finley. Yeah. And so I'm wondering what, what and I'm, I, I understand interim stuff can be dangerous. Right. But I don't know. I think yeah. she deserves the job. And well, I'm assuming she's going to get the job. I, I would assume. Too. Yeah. The, uh, the only holdup. That I and, and listen, this is no inside information. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. me guessing and reading yeah. the tea leaves and sure. following as best we can. Sure. But I would assume, Dan, the only possible holdup mm-hmm. is there are some people on the periphery that connect her to, to Cameron Newbauer, who by many accounts was a disaster. Yeah. And and are you connecting her to him? Right. And has that caused some pause right. in moving forward? Yeah. Having said that, mm-hmm. I've told you just before I've met her, I'm really impressed with her. I like her. I hear nothing but good about her. They haven't been good in that sport in a long time. Yeah, you finally have someone yeah, that you has run made with you. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. you do. So I think without I think it'll question, happen. I, yeah, I do yeah. too. But uh, but if if there's a reason why it hasn't already happened, that might be it. I would think that there's a good. But, but everybody seems to be endorsing the lady. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and again, you meet her. I don't yeah, tell you, you said you met her. Meet her one great. time. Meet yeah, her one time you'll you'll have. I'm one. in. I'm ready. So all right, all right. Baseball right around the corner. Yeah, football's recruited well. Billy speaks tomorrow. And basketball's one four in a row. These are good times, Dan. Let's enjoy them. All things Gators, all things orange and blue. Dan Hick and Frank Frank. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist, best in the business, se-ortho.com. Uh, Frank, have a great week. Good you, seeing you. You too, Harry. All right.